Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, hallelujah. Glory to glory, glory. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. This is the day that Yahweh has made. He told us to rejoice and be glad in it. And truly we magnify and uplift his holy and his righteous name tonight. He's worthy. Glory to the name of Yah. We don't own the rights to this music, but we give Yah glory anyway. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. Glory to the King. Glory to glory to the King. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom, Miss Parker. Shabbat Shalom, YouTube. Shabbat Shalom, Facebook. People praise them. Praise him. We just wait for everybody to get on. He has done. Tell the generation. Yes, Shabbat Shalom. Come on in, everybody. Come on in. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Glory to his name tonight. He's worthy to be praised. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy to be praised tonight. We magnify and uplift his name tonight. Glory, glory, glory to Yah. Glory, glory, glory to Yah. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. We don't own the rights to this music. Yeah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. I feel his presence tonight. I feel his presence tonight. Just wait till everybody get on. Breath, bless his holy name. Bless his holy name tonight. Shabbat Shalom. Bless his holy name tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name tonight. Bless his holy name. Scripture says, enter into his courts with things, giving into his gates with praise. Hallelujah. We magnify him tonight. To the only wise sovereign, the king of kings, the master of all masters. Hallelujah. We magnify him tonight. He's worthy tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to his name tonight. Yeah, oh, forever and ever. And ever be glorified. Hallelujah. Bless his holy name tonight. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, we submit to your authority. Yes, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, yes, glory to his name, hallelujah, glory to his name tonight, all of this live cast right now, yes, you are welcome in this place, everything wrong in me, yes, give me one minute, we can get started in a minute, praise y'all, hallelujah, good evening, good evening, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. You just entered into the worship zone. Hallelujah. Because we adore you. Yes, glory. Hallelujah. And we love you. Holy Spirit. You are welcome in this place. Glory, glory, glory tonight. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory tonight. You are welcome in this place. Glory to your name tonight. Father, we thank you tonight for your goodness and your mercy. We thank you for your loving kindness that you bestowed upon us. We thank you for allowing us to go another seven days. Hallelujah. A circular of seven days. Another seven days. Yeah. Allowing us to enter into this place. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. We pray tonight that you move tonight, not by might nor by power, but by the rock. HaKadosh. Have your way. Hallelujah. On tonight, Father. Have your way on tonight as we magnify you and glorify you and lift 
lift up your holy and righteous name tonight. We thank you tonight for our brothers and our sisters all over the country, all over the land, all of us that are coming into this sacred zone, this sacred, hallelujah, Shabbat, hallelujah. We thank you, hallelujah. We told God, hallelujah, your greatness. We told God, we thank you tonight for your goodness. We told God, hallelujah, for your mercy. Thanking you for your mercy. Let your will be done and we will give you praise, glory, and honor tonight. Move tonight upon this, this study tonight. Move upon this congregational move tonight. Move tonight, Father, Yah, by the rock Hakadesh with fire. Move tonight, Yah, and we will give you praise, glory, and honor. Please let the words of our mouths, meditations of our hearts be acceptable in our sight. Oh, Yah, our strength and our redeemer. And we say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Bless his name tonight. Hallelujah. Y'all excuse me, but I, I, I came into this thing. I, I entered into this day with worship on my mind. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, we submit to your authority. Glory to his name tonight. Holy Spirit, move over the room right now. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place because we adore you. Glory to his name tonight. Hallelujah. Praise y'all tonight. Y'all excuse me, but I just got a little praise in me, a little, little praise and worship in me tonight. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised tonight from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Hallelujah. The Ruach HaKadosh is truly in the midst of Yahweh's holy. Hallelujah, holy people. So we say hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We submit to your authority. Everything wrong in me, take it out right now. Everything wrong in us, take it out right now. You are welcome in this place. Because we adore you, yes. And we love you. Glory, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Oh, glory, glory, hallelujah. Shama glory to his holy presence. Shama glory to his holy presence. Shama glory to his holy presence tonight. Hallelujah. Blessed be Yahweh. Blessed be the most high sovereign Yah tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to his name tonight. We bless him tonight. Hallelujah. We in part two of understanding his glory, understanding his glory. See, we get so caught up in, in our knowledge and in and, 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 and our so-called understanding that we forget to cover. We forget the Barak, Hashem. We begin to bless his holy name. We forget to worship him. We forget to we forget to adore him. We begin we forget to uh get intimate with him. He 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 in, he in, he he inhabits, he loves when we become intimate with him. He loves when we become, hallelujah, intimate with him. And so, so many times we get so caught up in our high-mindedness of what we think we know, praise his holy, holy name. But Yahweh is simple. He said he takes the simple things of the world to confound the wise. He takes the simple ones. Of, why? Because the simple ones don't have pride. The simple ones don't deal, hallelujah, in 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 in, in, in priority. The different the, the, the simple ones deal with just being in concordance and in his presence. So we bless Yahweh tonight. He is worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, we thank you. We told our Yah him for blessing us this morning on the prayer line, how he moved in a very special way, in an intercessory way. And we just magnify him tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Scripture says, oh, give thanks unto Yahweh, for he is good and his mercy endures forever. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I don't take for granted the mercy of the Most High. The Most High's mercy is the reason why I'm here tonight. The reason why you're here tonight is because of the Most High's mercy. Hallelujah. He has extended his grace and his mercy upon us tonight. Praise y'all. We're going to go into part two of our study tonight. Hallelujah. Y'all just give me a few minutes. I'm trying to get everything focused, but I was just tonight as, 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 as I was listening uh, to the, as I was 
listening to the, the, the worship, the worship, the worship, the worship, my mind began to just go back, praise y'all. Uh, when I first, when I first, when I first uh, became involved with the Most High, you know, sometimes we, we need to go back to when we first fell in love with him. You know, it's almost like a relationship, you know, in marriage, you know, I realize in marriages, you don't just fall in love once, but you have to fall in love over and over and over again, praise Yahweh, so that you can keep things going the way it's supposed to be. And truly, we we are in love with the most high. Hallelujah. We're in love with his way. We're in love with everything that's about him tonight. Hallelujah. We say Shabbat Shalom to all of our family. Shabbat Shalom, Miss Paca. Our family, Miss Paca, in Hebrew means family. Family. We say Shabbat Shalom. Hello, we say Shemiyak. Shemiyak. Shabbat meaning happy, Sabbath. Shemiyak means happy. Shabbat means Sabbath. So we say Shemiyak. Shabbat. Happy Sabbath to everyone tonight. Shabbat Shalom, Miss Parker. Peaceful uh, Pat Sabbath. Peace be unto you and happy Sabbath. We say to you as well. Bless his holy name. Yah is great. He's greatly to be praised. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. He is great and he is greatly to be praised. Praise y'all. Y'all excuse my little worship outbreak. Praise y'all. My little singing outbreak. Praise y'all. But I love to sing. I love to praise. I love to praise. I love to sing. I love to sing. It's just, y'all just don't know. It's like the singing puts me in another ozone. It puts me in another phase. It takes me to a, another level. It takes me to a place. Praise your Howard. Uh, it's like my secret place. It's my place where I can think, you know, I can think, I can go into the secret place, you know, where I can feel his presence feel who he is, where I can know that he's yet with me. Praise his holy name. Hallelujah. Some of y'all, I know some of y'all don't hear some singers also. Praise y'all. Hallelujah. I just I just have one rule though, and I have to tell my wife, I have to remind my wife of this all the time. When you're riding in my car, I am the lead singer, okay? When you're in my car, I am the lead singer, okay? I have to remind my wife of this all the time, you know, because she won't take over lead, praise God. But you can't take over lead in my car, maybe in your car, but in my car, I'm the lead singer. So so we must remember that. Anytime if you all ever ride with Mo Ray, know that, that when you if you ride with Mo Ray, you you are the uh you are you are the background singer, not the lead singer, okay? So we just want to make sure we get this out the way before we can start. Even on this live cast, I'm the lead singer, you are the background singer, okay? So as long as we have that understanding, everything is good. So praise y'all tonight, y'all. Shalom, everybody. Shabbat shalom, everybody. Hallelujah. We want to deal tonight, hallelujah, with that glory. I want to clear up something before we get started because I really want to break something down because something was brought to my attention on last evening. And um, I, I want to just make sure. Yeah, really, little sis, you you know, you already know. You already know. You, you another one to try to uh, uh, take over. My little sister, Lilith Hines, she tried to take over the lead a lot too, but she can't take over the lead when 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 you on my platform when you on, when you on my my in my car uh or on this live you can't take lead i'm the lead you're the background okay <laughs> praise y'all tonight hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah oh good and that's one thing y'all gonna know about me i am a comedian at heart too so that's my second that's my other life that's my other lifestyle is com being a comedian so so that's another thing um, i want to break i want to really really bring out something tonight because uh, one of my daughters uh one of the daughters of yasrael uh uh uh, uh one of the, the, the akitas brought out to me on last night and it was very potent and i'm so happy that she did come to me and and ask me that question because i want to give clarity on um the difference between the actual um, Shekinah and the Shekinahina. And because there's a lot of people who don't understand the Shekinah versus the Shekinahina. And I know some of y'all probably say, Shekinahina, what is that? Well, there's two different words that is used, but what has happened is uh, those who have translated has combined both as being the same when they are not, when they are not. I'll say that again. They've combined both as being the same. So I want y'all to understand there's a difference when we're speaking of the glory of Yahweh and we're speaking of the Shekinah glory of Yahweh. There's a difference between Shekinah and Shekinah. Haina, because I've heard a lot of Hebrews teach this, that, that the Shekinah is the feminine state of, 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 of so on and so on and so on, when in all actuality, um, Shekinah 
No, it's not. Shekan Haina is. Shekan Haina is. Let me just give you a little definition so you can understand exactly what, what is and what is not. First of all, uh, the word Shekan Haina is referred and it comes out of the Talmud. Now, if you all don't know anything about the Talmud, the Talmud is the... Uh, Jewish Bible that it's really a, I call it a satanic form. It's a satanic form or satanic type Bible with Hebraic gestures, with Hebraic gestures. Um, it, it, it talks about uh, oral laws. It deals with a lot of uh, idolatrous stuff, but like, like men having sex and it being lawful for men to have sex with little girls and so on and so on and so on. So out of that particular book, the word Shekan Haina, Shekan Haina came into existence. Understanding that the word Shekan Haina is not the same as Shekana. Shekan Haina, uh, the word derived from the word Shokin, Shokin, or, 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 or it, it, but it also means also to dwell within, but it is a different deity. It is a feminine form which have derived out of the Roman perspective, out of the Jewish perspective, and it has nothing to do with the Shekinah. The Shekinah, and 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 this this is one of the things that we have to understand. That's why the scripture says, "Study to show thyself approved." Shekinah was a goddess. A Shekinah was a goddess. It had nothing to do with Hallelujah. Had nothing to do with the Shekinah at all. Even though they spelled the light and they sounded the light, and they tried to tie both in together, but they they mean two different meanings. They have two different meanings. They have two different meanings. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Kabbalism word that, that literally um, deals with a divine feminine deity perspective. And it's called the Shekan Haina, the Shekan Aina. Uh, it is supposed to be um, a divine presence of what they call G-O-D, God, but it's actually a divine presence of a false deity. Um, you had um, daughters of Shekan Haina that was introduced to us um, through the Greek, through the Roman, like Dinah, like Isis, etc. All these were feminine deities. And Shekan Haina was the actual mother of those physical uh, deities. And, 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 and we have to understand there's a distinction between the two. Uh, Shekan Haina uh, 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 means in the Hebrew, it does mean uh, settling. It denotes settling of divine presence of Yah and so on and so on and so on. But it has nothing, not of Yah, but a divine presence of a God, but not the divine presence of Yah. The Shekana on the other hand, deals with the presence of Yah. The word Shekinah comes from the Hebrew word Shekhan, Shekhan, which means Shekhan or Shekhan, which means dwelling or residing within, or the presence of the, the one who dwells and resides within, which was referring to Yahweh, which refers to Yahweh. It also deals um, with the underlining of different scriptures. It, it always, when you deal with Shekinah, it always deals with the presence of the Most High Yah, which is a form of his glory. Hallelujah. See, we have to understand that many, there's different forms of glory. There's a different form of glory. Uh, you have the praise uh, form of glory, as we talked about on last night. We have the honorization form of glory, but then we deal with the presence of Yahweh, which is a glory within itself. It's a power within itself. It is a move within itself. It's so powerful that in the book of Yachanan, St. John 17 and verse number five, Yahweh Shai said, listen, I finished the work that you've told me to do. I've done what you told me to do. Now glorify me now with thine own 
self. Teach tonight, Holy Rock, out the dash. With the glory that I had when I was with thee. So we have to understand that when we're dealing with the Shekinah glory, we're dealing with the presence of Yahweh. And that's why the scripture says, in his presence is the fullness of joy, and at his right hand, there's treasures and pleasures forevermore. Why? Because we're in the midst of the powerful presence of Yahweh. And Shekinah represents the powerful presence of Yahweh. Shekinah deals with the feminine perspective of the femininity of a deity or a god. It deals with the femininity of the feminine of a god. It also is the daughter of Sanalia, which was the mother or the mother of the moon or the mother of the earth. This is where we get the falseness of Mother's Day. All of this comes out of the Shekinahina, which is the Shekinahina gives glory back to the mother uh, Saturnalia, which was also Tammuz's mother and also Nimrod's mother, which we also know that Nimrod is Balau and Balau means Lord. So we have to understand, we're not dealing with the Shekinah Haina because we're not giving reference to uh, 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 Saturnalia. We're not giving honor to Isis. We're not giving honor to Dinah or no other Greek deity. But we do recognize the Shekinah glory, which is the presence of the Most High Sovereign himself. Can I teach tonight, y'all? Can I teach tonight? Bless his holy name. We have to understand, Yah inhabits the praises of his people. Hallelujah. He inhabits the praises of his people. See, we got to understand. Let me say this to y'all. Let me slow down because I'm getting a little bit excited and y'all making me get excited. So y'all just stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Y'all making me get excited. Let me teach tonight. Hallelujah. Watch this, y'all. Watch this, watch this, y'all. We have to understand this. Understand this. Understand this. For every for every, for everything that Yahweh has in place, for everything that Yahweh has in place, Satan has a counterfeit. Let me say that again. For everything, Shalom, Shalom, Apostle. For everything, everything, listen to this, y'all. For everything that Yahweh has in place, Hasatan has a counterfeit. We use the terminology, and I don't use it as much because of, you know, people kind of talking me down off of it. But people are scared to say amen or aman because uh, the Amen, the deity of Amen, there was a deity called Amen. It was not a man or Amon or Amayan or Amien, but it was Amen. You see, let me show y'all something. See, people were scared to use, and even today, some people will say Amion or Amen because they, they, they've been told and they've been taught that they're giving glory to uh, Amen, the deity of Amen. Hallelujah. Watch this. The deity of Amen. Watch this. But if you look up the word amen, amen just basically means so be it. Amen or aman or amian means so be it. It's the same as saying sila. It's the same as saying so be it. But, but because ha satan always, hallelujah, because hallelujah, ha satan has a duplicate for everything that Yahweh has, we see now that we have to be careful in our terminologies. But this is why the scripture says it's important that we study to show ourselves approved unto not man, not unto, uh, not unto an organization, not unto a church, but unto Yahweh. Show your show to show yourself approved unto Yahweh. Which is, and then he goes on saying, so to study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that need not be ashamed. Rightly, watch this, y'all, rightly dividing. See, no way, we got to sometimes get in there and divide this thing. Let me explain the difference between Shekinah and Shekinahina. Let me explain the difference between Amian or Amon, Amen, and the, and, and, and the deity Amen. Hallelujah. We're not giving glory to no Amen. 
When you say amen or amen or aman, you just basically say so be it. And it is so. Selah. Hallelujah. We conclude to the matter that yeah, you said it and it is so. Yah, you did it and it is so. Yah, you worked it out and it is so. Hallelujah. Glory to his name tonight. So we have to understand. We have to understand. But every, everything of truth that Yahweh presents to us, Hasetan comes in the reverse with a duplicate or a counterfeit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In so much that we're not careful, we'll become just as intertwined as those that we say we don't follow. You know, the Christians, the Christians tell you in a minute, there's no difference between Jesus and Yahweh Shah or Yahshua, whatever one you refer to him as. But that's a lie. Why? Because there's a way that seemed right unto a man. But the end thereof is death and destruction. The book of Proverbs says, when a man wanders out of the way of understanding, he will find himself in the congregation of the dead. Let me say that again. Proverbs 21 and 16. When a man wanders out of the way of understanding, hallelujah, he will find himself in the congregation of the dead. So we got a lot of dead Hebrews. We got a lot of people in the congregation of dead Hebrews. We got a lot of people in the congregation of dead Sabbath keepers. We got a lot of people in the congregation of dead feast day keepers. Hallelujah. Why? Because they have no understanding. The scripture says wisdom, um, Proverbs 4 and 7, wisdom is the principal thing. But in all of our getting, teach tonight, Holy Rock, I can ask He says, get an understanding. Get an understanding. I thank y'all for my daughter tonight. My spiritual daughter, I praise y'all. My, my, my Akita, I, I praise y'all for her. I'm not going to call her name out because I don't know if she wants me to do that or not. But I thank y'all for, because she, 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 she sometimes inboxes me and asks me, Moe, what does this mean? Could you explain this? Praise y'all. And guess what? I don't mind explaining it. I don't mind explaining it because that's my job. Praise y'all. And I don't mind being questioned. I don't even mind being challenged. Why? Because guess what? The scripture says, come let us reason together. In other words, guess what? You may be right and I may be wrong. And guess what? I don't have no problem coming back on this line and retracting what I taught. Even if it's wrong. Teach tonight, holy rock, hockey Teach tonight, hallelujah. Speak tonight to us tonight, Yaha. Hallelujah. Let's understand. The confusion has come in that has come in comes because the Tanakh the Tanakh, which is also a form of the, of the scriptures, the Tanakh, hallelujah, the Tanakh, watch this, comes in, the confusion comes in because the Tanakh references the Shekinah being at the temple, at Mount Zion, at Jerusalem, which is what makes it special for some of us. Remember, watch this, don't mean out of uh, Hebrews, let me, let, me, let me say that one more time before we go there, because I want y'all to hear this real good. The confusion comes in. Let me let me explain the whole thing, and then uh, we'll come back to it in, in just one minute. In one minute, y'all give me just one minute. We're going to come back to that. But the confusion is, the confusion comes in because what happens is the Tanakh references the Shekinah, the Tanakh, the scriptures, the Holy Scriptures. It references the Shekinah. But the Talmud, which is the Satanic, Rabbinic, Form references the oral laws. Uh, it teaches about the Shekan Haina, which is present during study. And it's also a form of worship. It also means that it's a form of worship to Yahweh, the other from a Babylonian God worship perspective. Yet they sound and they spell similar. So, so now what are you saying? What I'm saying is. There's a difference between the Shekinah glory and the Shekinah Haina. Again, the Shekinah always references uh, the Tanakh. The Tanakh, the word, the scriptures, the original scripts references uh, the Shekinah. It's not written in there, but it references it. Why? It's, 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 it references it. It, 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 it references it as being what's on the temp in the temple. It references this at what's being in Mount Zion at Jerusalem. And this is very important because we are, we are, we are components of 
Yerushalayim. We are the components headed to Yerushalayim and the components headed to Mount Zion. Watch this. Now, the word Shekan Haina, I'm going to take my time, is something referred to often in the Talmud. It's a feminine deity. So it references the femininity of that particular deity. Again, remember, Saturnalia was considered to be the mother of the earth. Even though Chua, who we call Eve, was the mother of all creation. Teach tonight, Holy Spirit. But during the regime, Saturnalia was considered to be the mother of the earth. Why? Because she was the mother of the sun or the, or the god or the Balau or the Baal or the Nimrod. Of the earth. Teach tonight, y'all. I hope y'all get this tonight. So, so, and, and remember, everything that we deal with is spiritual. So, 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 remember, there is a transfer of spirit that has gone throughout generation after generation after the first Babylon, second Babylon, and is now present with us in the midst of the third Babylon, which is mystery Babylon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why y'all have a shot. I said, I got to go away because I, I got to give y'all a comforter. I got to let y'all get some. I got to leave y'all with some power because you're going to wrestle things. That's why he said greater works shall we do. Why? Because we're dealing with greater demons. We're dealing with greater spirits. Why? Because those things that was in the beginning has now become manifested as a normality in the society that we live in, even in the worship. Hallelujah. So we got people Celebrating Mother's Day. Now, I give honor to my mother and my spiritual mother all the time. So I don't need a specific day to celebrate my mother. Please understand that all of this was a part of the Shakan Haina. It was giving glory to the presence of the femininity deity ship. Saturnalia was a deity in the earth, just like her son Nimrod, and just like her son slash grandson, Tammuz. And all of these transfers of the Ruach, of the spirit, has transferred throughout the earth. I knew I was going to lose some people when I said what I said. Has transferred throughout the earth. And as it has transferred, Throughout the earth, praise Yahweh, as it is transferred, we're now dealing with these things from a spiritual perspective. So, so when we deal now in the glory of Yahweh, we're dealing in a higher perspective because we're now leaving the physical mindset and we're transferring and transforming into a higher Elevation. Hallelujah. Look what he said there in Hebrews. 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 The, the, and I read this to you all before the 12th chapter because I got to read this again. Hebrews 12 and 22. Because we have to understand the, 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 the Shekinah was always referenced. It was referenced out of the Tanakh in Jerusalem into in Mount Zion. And so on. So look what he said in about Mount Zion in um, Hebrews 12 and 12. He says, uh, Hebrews 12 and 12. Hallelujah. I know I'm in the wrong book. Y'all excuse me. Hebrews 12 and 12. Bless his holy name. Hebrews 12 and 12. He said, listen. 12, I'm sorry, 12 and 22. 12 and 22. Hebrews 12 and 22 says, but you are come unto Mount Zion. Are y'all listening to this? But who's the you? The you is us. The you are we which have been filled with the rock HaKadosh which is the Holy Spirit. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. I know, I know it does. It does. It does, my sister. It does. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. We have come to Mount Zion. See, the reason why people can't handle truth is because they've not been set free from fleshly ordinances. 
And I'm not putting anybody down, but they haven't been set free from fleshly ordinances. When you deal in the perspective of the rock HaKadosh, the spirit of Yahweh is much different than the spirit of man. Again, 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 again. Proverbs 21, 16. When a man wanders out of the way of understanding, he will end up in the congregation of the dead. Hallelujah. So, so what is the understanding? The understanding is what he said here in Hebrews 12 and 20. But you will come unto Mount Zion. When do we come into Mount Zion? We come into Mount Zion when we begin to allow our glory of praise to elevate, watch this, y'all, into the elevation of worship. So now our worship takes us, hallelujah, not just in a physical surroundings, but we begin to elevate spiritually. Why? Because the glory of Yahweh, the glory of the Most High, hallelujah, meets us where we are. So there's an illumination. Remember I told you that the word uh, 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 glory also comes from the Hebrew word hoda, hoda, which means brightness or an illumination. So every time we enter into worship, and this is why a lot of people can't stand this kind of teaching, because if I was talking about some history, if I was talking about some Hebrew stuff, if I was talking about some um, fighting the Ashkenazians, if I was talking about some bunch of foolishness, if I was on here cussing, this line would be filled up. But guess what? When we start talking about spiritual things, the flesh, hallelujah, cannot handle the spirit. The flesh can't handle spiritual things. Hallelujah. The flesh can't handle the glory and the glorification of the most high Yah. Hallelujah. A lot of these people are going to be sitting right here. Most of a lot of these people that's talking about their awakening, a lot of them are going to take the mark of the peace. Because they have not been quickened into the glory of Yahweh. The glory of Yahweh is power. Hallelujah. I don't even look at myself the way I look at myself. I don't even think the way I used to think. Why? Because I know that the presence of Yahweh is on my life. The presence of Yahweh is on your life. The presence of Yahweh is in your house. It's the glory of Yahweh. It's the Shekinah glory. Bless his holy name tonight. Teach tonight, y'all. Teach tonight. Watch this. Watch this. So as we enter into, we come into Mount Sinai. Now, now, let me say it again. Let me say it again. The confusion comes in between the Shekinah and the Shekinahina. Shekinahina because the Shekinah comes in because the Tanakh references. It references the Shekinah being at the temple. Being in Mount Zion and Jerusalem. And it makes it special for us. Why? Because Hebrews 12 and 22 says, But you are coming to Mount Zion, unto the city of the living Yah, the heavenly Yah, Jerusalem, to a numeral company of angels, to the general and called out assembly of the firstborn which are written in heaven to Yahweh, the judge of all, and to the rock or the life, breath of life of just men made perfect, and to Yahweh Shai, the mediator of the renewed covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better than that of Haviyah or Abel. So we have to understand, Yah elevates us elevates us. That's why the scripture says, if you turn away after tasting this heavenliness, there is no repentance or no forgiveness for you. What do you mean? What do you mean? I was sitting there thinking, and as I got off the prayer line this morning, hallelujah, and I began to speak in the heavenly language, and I began to speak in tongues, hallelujah, hallelujah, as the, as the Ruach began to flow in my mind, and I began to glorify Yah, and I began to speak in tongues, and I said, Yah, hallelujah, I said, Yah, I don't understand, what am I speaking? Yah said, you are not no longer supposed to understand this, what you're speaking because you are human and I am divine. You are earthly and I'm in the heavens. You are on the beneath and I am above. So when you speak in tongues in your secret closets, you're no longer speaking in an English language, but you're speaking to me that's high and lifted up. Hallelujah. You're speaking in 
the glory. You're speaking in the Shekinah. Hallelujah. You're speaking. Hallelujah. That's why the scripture says, but we speak with the tongues of men and angels. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we step into the Shekinah glory, we begin to step away from the earthly and we step into Mount Zion. Hallelujah. We step into Mount Zion and what's called the problem with us is we, 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 we so busy caught up in trying to be a Hebrew instead of trying to be holy, instead of trying to be righteous, instead of trying to dwell in the presence of the Most High. Hallelujah. We're so busy trying to be a part of a group that instead of knowing that, listen, your name is written in the Lamb Book of Life. Hallelujah. We're so caught up in this earth that we don't understand that there's a throne prepared for you and I in the glory of glories. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's another throne that's waiting on us. Scripture says in Revelation 3 and 21, to him that overcome will I grant you to sit with me in my throne, even as I have overcame and sat down in the throne with my father. Hallelujah. We're so worried about putting on Hebrew gods. I'm not worried about no Hebrew gods. I'm worried about putting on a new body. I'm worried about putting on an Elohim body. Hallelujah. Y'all excuse me. Hallelujah. That's his holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to understand when we start dealing in the Shekinah glory, not the Shekinah Haina, we elevate into another level. There's another realm that Yah has prepared for us. There's another realm, hallelujah, that Yah prepares for us. Hallelujah. We, we extend ourselves to the perspective that we become worshipers. We become worshipers. They that were, the scripture says that, that, that the Father is seeking such to worship Him. And the reason why people can't worship Him because they don't understand how to enter into the Shekinah glory. They 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 so caught up in their knowledge and their and their so-called titles and, and their so-called churches and their so-called churches that they don't understand that Yah is trying to take us. Hallelujah. Into himself. Into himself. We are a people that Yahweh has carved out. Oh, bless his holy name. So, so as I was speaking in tongues and I was crying out, speaking in tongues, I said, Yah, I don't understand what I'm saying. And Yah spoke back to me. And he said, son, you don't understand because the heavenly, when you go into tongues in your secrecy, you step into the heavenly. That's why the scripture says, though I speak with the tongues of men and angels. So when we get caught up into the rock, and, and into the Shekinah glory, hallelujah, we, we step from the earthly and we step into Mount Zion. And henceforth we have Hebrews 12 and 22, but you are coming to Mount Zion and to the city of the living Yah. Watch this, y'all. The heavenly Jerusalem. See, we don't understand that Yahweh wants us to dwell in the Shekinah. He wants us to dwell in the heavenly Jerusalem. But we're so caught, we're so caught up on what we're going to do as Hebrews on this earth. What we're going to do as Hebrews on this earth. I got a doctorate degree to the fourth and sixth power. I am a doctor. I am a rabbi. I am a pastor. But yet you don't know your destination. Yet you don't understand your divine purpose. Teach tonight, Holy Rock HaKadosh. Teach tonight, Yahweh HaKadosh. Hallelujah. Oh, Shia, hallelujah. Thank you tonight, yeah, hallelujah. I was sitting here and I, was, I said, yeah, I said, I don't understand. I don't understand. And, and, and I, I, I've questioned.
quench this, the ruach. I quench the ruach. Try not to speak in tongues. Try not to speak in tongues. But oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I begin to speak in hallelujah to me. And he began to speak through me. And I said, y'all don't understand. You said that we got to have an understanding. But y'all said, wait a minute. I said, you will speak with the tongues of men and angels. You will speak. You will. You will. You will speak with tongues of men and with angels. Hallelujah. 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 So, so there's an extreme connection that Yahweh begins to bring forth in the midst of us when we move in the Ruach, when we move in the spirit of Yahweh, when we move in the presence of Yahweh. There's a move, hallelujah, that Yahweh begins to move upon us, not by might nor by power, but by the Ruach HaKadash. Hallelujah. Yes, he does. So we begin to speak. And, and as I was speaking, in my secret closet, in my prayer closet, hallelujah, y'all begin to say, you're now speaking in the realm of the angels. You're speaking now in the realm that's not earthly. And I knew I was going to lose some people when I began to speak on this. You're now speaking in another level, in another ozone, hallelujah. You're now speaking, hallelujah. And see, what man does Man puts this knowledge on you. And again, if you don't study to show yourself approved, you quench the glory of Yah. You quench the spirit of Yah. You, you shun the Shekinah glory of Yahweh. Hallelujah. So, so, so I begin to say, wow, I understand now, Yah, what you meant. That's why he said, when you do it in the congregation, do it from the perspective of two or three witnesses. That every word may be established. Why? Because he wants us to know. He wants us to know that when we do speak in tongues, that he wants he he wants it to be for edification purposes. The scripture. That's why the scripture says, when you speak unto Yah in your privacy, Hallelujah. You speak to Yah from the perspective that you're speaking unto Yah and not unto man. So 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 this is. The glorification of Yah. Please understand, we are headed to a higher height and a deeper level. We're headed to a place, Shama. I feel the presence of Yahweh. The word Shama in Hebrew means the presence of Yah, the glory of Yah. This, the glory, Shama, the glory of Yah is in the midst of us, even right now. Shama, S H A M A H, Shama. Shama, somebody, you type that into your thing. Shama, we recognize the presence of Yahweh, even as we're teaching, even as we're in worship tonight. Shama, Shama, I feel his presence. Hallelujah, Shama, he's in the midst of us right now. Shama, Shama, Shama. So the Shama is the exhumation or the illumination of his glory, the illumination of his presence. So now, 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 now. The atmosphere is now set now. The atmosphere is set. The ground has been chopped up. So now we understand that he said in Hebrews 12 and 22, but you are coming to Mount Zion and to the city of the living Yah, the heavenly Yerushalayim. Hallelujah. And to the numeral company of angels. Hallelujah. To the general assembly, called out assembly of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, to the Yahuwah, the judge of all, the Ruachah of just men, made perfect, and to Yahweh the mediator of the renewed covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better than that of Habiel or Abel. So we are in the presence of Yah right now. The move of Yah is right now. He's moving not by might, nor by power. But by his spirit. So we decree and we declare and we exhort him by saying, Shama, Shama, meaning Yahweh is present. Yah is present. Shama, Shama, Shama. We recognize the presence. Do y'all feel his presence tonight? I feel him right now. As even as we're teaching, I feel him moving. Hallelujah. I'm feeling moving in the Shekinah. I feel him moving. Hallelujah. He's moving. Hallelujah. He's moving. Shama. He's in the midst of us right now, even tonight. Shama. We glorify him on tonight. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. So, so now 
Now, 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 now we're in Mount Zion. We're in Mount Zion. We're in Mount Zion. We're in, we're in the company. There's numerous angels amongst us. And we are worshiping and we are adoring the most high sovereign himself. Hallelujah. And we're glorifying. So, so as we look at this very carefully, understand this. This glory is, is, is power. It's, it's power. The glory of Yah is, is power because it denotes and it mandates his presence. That's why we say Shama. Shama meaning that we understand that his presence is right now. His presence is in the midst of us right now. Even as we're teaching now, I don't know, I feel his move. I feel him moving not by might nor by power, but by the rock. I feel his presence right now. Shama. He's in the midst of us right now. Bless his holy name. So we have to understand that this glory is powerful. That's why the glory is power. That's why we say, y'all, let your glory fill this place. Let your glory fill. Let your all renewing power. Hallelujah. Fill this tabernacle. He's in the midst of us right now. Shama. Glory. Hallelujah. Yah's glory is powerful because Yah wants to exhibit that his presence is in the midst of us. Understanding that, that again, for every truth that Yahweh gives us, how Satan comes back and gives us a counterfeit. Again, people scared to say Aman, Amian, or Aman, because they think that they're, they're saying glory and honor to Amon, the deity of Amon. No, you're not saying glory to the, the Amian, Aman, Amen means so be it, and it is so. That or Sila, it's the same thing. See how Satan gives us these things, and if we're not careful, because remember the scripture says Yahweh made man upright in the book of Ecclesiastes. He said Yahweh made man upright. But man sought out many inventions. So this is why you got all these different trains of thoughts, all these trains of doctrines, all these trains of beliefs. Because Yahweh said, I made, I made man upright. But he went and sought out many inventions. So you got people teaching doctrines that is not truth. People teaching doctrines that hold no validity. And it's confusing Yahweh's chosen people. So henceforth, we had to correct that tonight. We just wanted to make that very, very, very clear tonight concerning Yah's glory. We have to understand the scripture says uh, in Haggai, go me to the book of Haggai, Haggai, the second chapter, Haggai, the second chapter, hallelujah, Haggai, the second chapter, let me show y'all something, Haggai 2, Haggai 2, I'm going to show y'all something, bless his holy name tonight, the glory is very important because the glory plays and will play a very important part in our lives as the cordicium. The cordicium means embodiment of believers. Um, in the King James, it calls it saints, but we're not referring to uh, ourselves as saints. We are the cordicium. We are the embodiment of believers. We believe what Yahweh has spoken. We believe that his word is true. In the book of, in the book of Haggai, the second chapter, watch this y'all. Haggai, the second chapter in verse number three, Haggai 2 and 3, y'all, please don't leave because you're going to be blessed by this in the end. Watch this. Haggai 2 and 3 says, who is left among you, listen to this, that saw this house in her first glory? Who are left among you that saw her house in this first glory? Now, I want y'all to understand this. This is powerful. This is powerful. Remember, this particular scripture is dealing from the Hebraic perspective. And remember I told you there's two different major trains of thought when you're reading scripture. There is the Hebraic train of thought, which gives us our culture and our culturistic uh, customs and beliefs. But then there is what is called the Yahweh or Yah or Yahweh concept. And that concept is where we, even though we are Hebrews by birth, now we become Hebrew spiritually because we cross over into the Yahweh thought or the Yahweh concept or the Yah or the Yahweh concept. Watch this, y'all, because I'm, I'm going to break this thing down as the rock is giving this to me. So, so, so as we read Haggai, Haggai is giving adoration and it is uplifting the, the temple that was built by Solomon. Remember I told you he didn't make a carbon copy. He didn't make a facsimile. He didn't make a, a, a duplicate, but he made an original when he built the temple. He built it just the way Yah 
commanded him and told him to build it. Bless his holy name. There's a saying, hallelujah, that um, uh, uh, my, one of my, my, my spiritual mothers and my, my, my former mother-in-law used to say all the time, hallelujah, when you do it the way Yahweh said do it, it will turn out the way he meant for it to be. So, 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 so Solomon didn't build anything based upon the plans or the duplication or the replica. He didn't replicate it. He built it the way Yah said built it. And as he built that temple, the scripture says when he finished building that particular temple, watch this y'all, that the glory, the Shekinah glory filled the house. Hallelujah. In other words, when you do it the way Yahweh, Yah Almighty says do it, look for the Shekinah. Look for the Shekinah glory. See, when he finished building that temple, bless his holy name, the glory, the Shekinah glory, it wasn't just any old type of glory, but the Shekinah glory, not the Shekinah Haina, but the Shekinah glory entered into that tabernacle. And so much the scripture said that, that, that none of them, not Solomon, but Moses, but none of them could enter into that tabernacle. Hallelujah. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. That is the Hebraic. That's the breakdown of the Hebraic. Now, when we look in Haggai 2 and 3, it says, who are left among you that saw this house in her first glory? And how do you see it now? Let that, let that marinate in. How do you see it now? It is not in your eyes. And he said, it's not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing. Listen to this. I will shake all nations. Hear this, y'all. The desire of all nations shall come. Hallelujah. And I will fill this house with glory. Say, Yahuwah Tessaboa, or Yahweh or Yahuwah of hosts. Verse 9. Going down to verse 9. The glory of this latter house, watch this, shall be greater than the former. Say, Yahweh of hosts. And in this place, Will I give shalom? <laughs> Say of Yahweh. Of hosts. Now, that was referring to the physical temple. That was referring to the physical temple. He said, watch this, y'all. Watch, 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 watch. I want y'all, because I'm, I'm going somewhere. Please, please stay with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. He said, let me read it again so y'all so y'all don't think I made it up. I know you're not, but let me just read it again. He said, in verse number nine, he said, the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the former, said Yahweh Tessaboa, or Yahweh or Yah of hosts. And in the midst, and in this place, listen to this, will I give shalom, peace. Said Yahweh of hosts. Now, he said the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. Remember, Hebraic is referring to temples, physical, made with hands, built, altars, different phylacteries inside of it, temples made with hands. Go with me down to Acts 17 and 24. Let me show y'all something. Acts 17 and 24. Acts 17 and 24. That's some powerful stuff. Don't be afraid of the scriptures. Acts 17 and 24. <laughs> Acts 17 and 24. Yah is moving tonight. He's doing a great work in the earth tonight. To Yah be the glory. To Yah be the glory. To Yah be the glory. Acts 17 and verse number 24. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. You get off this line, you're going to miss something. You're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. He said the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former house. Now watch this. Look what he said in Acts 17 and verse 24. Listen to this. 
Yahweh, Elohim, that made the world and all the things therein, seeing that he is Yah of heaven and of earth. Listen to this. Dwell not in temples made with hands. Now he said the glory of the latter house. Watch this, y'all. The glory of the latter house is going to be greater than the former house. But then when we get in the New Testament, he said he's not dwelling in houses made with hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Again, the Hebraic, watch this, starts us off from the natural. But in order to become a spiritual Hebrew, a spiritual Yahudim, the spiritual Yahudim, you have to cross over. Because the word Hebrew means to cross over. So you have to cross over into Yahweh, into Yahship, into Elohimship. Teach tonight, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So, so, so the glory of the former house, which was inside of the Hebraic thought, is going to be greater in the latter house. So guess what? There has to be a transformation that takes place. We have to cross over now. We have to cross over now. Watch this, y'all. Watch this, watch, 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 watch. <laughs> Glory to the name of Yah. Hallelujah. We got to cross over. We got to cross over. We got to cross over. Hallelujah. Watch this, y'all. Y'all give me just one second. I'm, try I'm, trying, I'm, trying, I'm trying to hold myself because it's so exciting just to know what Yah is doing. Hallelujah. We got to cross over. We have to cross over. Hallelujah. Now, go with me now to the book of Corinthians, the book of Corinthians, because I'm really, I'm really, really purposely taking my time because I really want y'all to get this tonight about the glory, understanding his glory, understanding his glory tonight. I, I, you have to understand this glory, understand his glory, uh, the, the, the glory, the Shekinah glory that filled the tabernacle with our ancestors. It was a powerful move. It was powerful. And y'all promised, watch this. He promised, he promised that in his word, now understand, he cannot lie. He will not lie. He cannot fail. He will not fail. So he promised, he promised, he said it out of his mouth that the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former house. The glory of the ah, shall be greater. So 1 Corinthians 3, let's start there. And verse number 16, we'll start there first. Now, we understand that the latter house is not talking about no building. <laughs> Ain't talking about no church, cathedral, mega church, barn church, storefront church. It's not referring to church or a building of any kind. How do we know that? Acts 17 and 24 says, Yahweh that made the heavens and the earth is not dwelling in buildings made with hands, but in buildings that's eternal in the heavens. So let's start at 1 Corinthians 3 and 16 says, Know ye not that you are the temple of Elohim. Him shall Elohim destroy, for the temple of Elohim is holy, which temple you are. So this is why we validify having services 
online, teaching online, and how Yah is gathering his people from coast to coast, California, D.C., New York, uh, uh, Texas, etc., all over the country, Pennsylvania, Delaware, all over the country, Yah is gathering his people. This is how we justify this, because the church or the assembly of the firstborn is not in a building. So when we, scripture says, when we step into Mount Zion, We've stepped into a spiritual heightening. Did y'all feel the worship come in? Did y'all feel the praise come in? Watch this, y'all. Kansas City. Yes, we got Kansas City. We got Chicago on here tonight. Hallelujah. Didn't y'all feel the, hey, no matter what city you, didn't y'all, don't y'all feel the presence of y'all? Hallelujah. Don't you feel, talk back to me. Don't you feel the presence of y'all? Why? Because he's not dwelling in. A physical church. A physical building. Made with hands. Hallelujah. Remember he said the glory. Of the former house. Shall be greater. Hallelujah. In the latter house. Now. The reason why we don't understand. What this glory is really all about. It's because we don't understand who we are. We're so busy around the world now trying to portray ourselves as Hebrews, which is we automatically Hebrews. We was brought over here by ships and sold for by men and by women. And we've forgotten about the spiritual destination. Let me read it one more time so you don't think uh, uh, verse, uh, 1 Corinthians 3, 16 and 17. Know ye not that you are the temple of Elohim and that the rock of Elohim dwell in you. So, so remember, the glory of the former house is going to be greater in the latter house. Why? Because the latter house is you and I. Huh? Let me read it again. Know ye not that you are the temple. Not the temple that Solomon built. Not the temple that Moshe built. Not the temple, hallelujah, that Constantine or the Pope or any of these church organizations have built. But you are the temple of Elohim. Listen to this. And that the spirit, the rock, the rock, the Ruach HaKadosh is dwelling in you. So, 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 when you go on into your closets and you begin to speak in tongues, hallelujah, and you, 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 you now the temple of, of Yahweh, the Ruach of Yahweh begins to connect with the presence of Yahweh and now you have a conversation. And the scripture says, when you speak in an unknown tongue, you speak not unto man, but you speak unto Yahweh. Taste the night, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You speak unto Yahweh. So now, there's a spiritual elevation that takes place. That eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has it entered in the hearts of men. What Yah has prepared for us. And so, because we're so caught up in religion, because we're so caught up in churchism, because we're so caught up in churchology, we don't understand the height that Yahweh has for us. As his creation. Know ye not that you're, you are the temple of Elohim. And the rock of Elohim. Dwell in you. Did we not say that the word Shekinah. Comes from the word Shekhan. Shekhin. Shekhin. Which, or Shekhan. Meaning dwell or reside within. Hallelujah. So now the rock. The Shekinah glory is now dwelling. In you. <laughs> Verse number 17, if any man defy, listen to this, the temple of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy. For the temple of the holy, of, of, of the Elohim is holy. Which temple? You are. Hallelujah. That's why I don't lie. And Yah's working on me. And I praise Yah that he's working on my temper, that old temper I used to have. Hallelujah. I think of a touch of my tongue. That I ain't got to cuss people out no more. Because I'm the temple of Elohim. 
And remember, Yah is a jealous Elohim. He don't share his space with nothing or no one. Teach tonight, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 6 and 19 says, What know ye that your body is the temple of the Holy Rock, HaKadosh, the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which you have of Elohim? You are not your own. Hallelujah. So we have to understand that, that we are now that tabernacle. We are now that temple. Hallelujah. That Yah said greater, that glory of that ladder, that former shall be greater in the ladder. Hallelujah. How deep is your spirit? How deep is your ruach? How deep is, is, is the most high dwelling inside of you? We're so busy trying to put on this front all oh, the Hebrew nation. Forget the Hebrew nation. Forget the Hebrew nation. I'm a part of the Elohim nation. I forget the church nation. I'm a part of the Elohim nation. Hallelujah. Forget the organization nation. I'm a part of the Elohim nation. Hallelujah. No longer will I be caught up in cultism and cults. Hallelujah. Why? Because I'm the body. I'm the, my, I'm the temple of the Elohim himself. I'm going somewhere. Y'all stay with me. 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 Don't go. Don't go. I know I might sound a little bit of radical, but I'm not radical. This is the Ruach HaKadosh. Please, 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 please. Stay with me. 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 Verse 18. Let me read verse 18. And that first Corinthians 6 and 18. Because the apostle put that on the screen. I want to read that. Flee fornication. Every sin that is that a man does is without the body. But he that commits fornication sins against his own body. See, Yah is calling for sanctification. Because his glory must reign in us. Hallelujah. Because there's another facet of the glory that we have not spoken on yet. Y'all stay with me. 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 First Corinthians 8 and 10 says, For if any man see that which is knowledge sit at the meat of the idol's temple, shall not the constant of him that is weak be embroidered uh, to eat? No, I'm not going to be that one. Okay. No. First, go to First Corinthians 9 and 13. Do you not know that they which minister about holy things, listen to this, do you not know that those that they that minister about holy things, remember, we ain't talking about Hebraic, not talking about Hebrewism. We leave in the Hebrew, the Hebraics, and now we're crossing over into the Yahweh. And when you deal with the Yahweh perspective, you're dealing with Elohim Shem. Elohim Shem. Watch this. Do you not know that they which minister about holy things live of the holy temple? They which wait the altar are partakers with the altar. Whew, that's a powerful, powerful statement. I don't think a lot of people understand what that means. Scripture says, 1 Corinthians 15 and 23. Yahweh Yeshua the Messiah, is the first fruits. Because he's the first fruits to raise from the grave. So he's the embodiment of what Pentecost is. The resurrection from the grave. From, 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 from death to life. From humanity to immortality. He's the first fruits. Watch this. Scripture says, afterwards, we are at his coming. So, so he left off the scene so that he can leave a portion of his glory in the earth to show us how to walk like him, show us how to live like him. But guess what? It was also meant to show us how to be like him, be in Elohim ship. Psalms 82 and 6 says, I have said, you are Elohims, mighty ones, little deities, Children of the Most High Yah. In so much that there is a glory, watch this y'all, that is dwelling inside of you that many of us don't even understand that we have. 
Why? Because we don't activate that glory. We don't activate. How do you activate? You activate it because the scripture says this kind comes by nothing but fasting and praying. You cannot walk around and watch stories all day. You cannot walk around and, and listen to hip hop and listen to cussing and all that stuff all day and expect the glory of Yahweh to be in you. Watch this, y'all. So, 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 so he, he put that portion of that glory in us because remember the word glory, watch this. The word glory comes from the word holda. Hoda is the Hebrew word Hoda, and the word Hebrew, the Hebrew word Hoda means brightness, illumination. Watch this, y'all. Well, what does that have to do with us, Apostle? What does that have to do with us, Moe? Let me explain it. The scripture tells us Yahweh Shai spoke to us, and he said distinctively in his word. Listen to this. He said, Let your light <laughs> so shine before men that they may see your good works and begin to glorify the Father which is in the Shemiah. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and begin to glorify. What good works? Your Elohim-like work. Y'all didn't tell us to be like no Hebrews. Y'all told us to be like him. Like him. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Yahweh Shahamashik, who in the form of Yahweh thought it not robbery to be equal with Yahweh. But as a servant, he humbled himself even into the death of the tree. Hallelujah. We're walking in this earth like peons, like peasants. Why? Because we don't understand the glory that's on the inside of us. Why? Because we don't understand that he already promised that the glory of the former house will not compare to the glory of this latter house. <laughs> You got to cross over, baby. You got to become a spiritual Hebrew. Praise Yah. So, so the glory of the former house is nothing compared with the glory that's in the latter house. And the reason why we don't understand that because we've been indoctrinated with churchism. We've been indoctrinated with churchology. We've been indoctrinated, hallelujah, with, 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 with all these different camps and all these different followings. When Yahweh said, follow me, Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Hallelujah. The road to eternal life is slim. But the way to destruction and damnation is wide. Follow me. Follow me, Yah says, follow me. And the only way you can follow him is you got to know how to enter into his glory. Enter into his glory. Enter into his glory. I'm almost finished, y'all. I'm almost finished. Almost finished. Almost finished. Almost finished. Almost finished. Watch this, y'all. Go with me to John, Yachanan, St. John, Yachanan, 17 and 5. Let me show y'all that. Show y'all that. We have to understand when y'all spoke of the glory being more powerful in the latter house, he was not talking about a church building, he was not talking about a cathedral, he was not talking about a storefront. Because guess what? A building without the buildings being inside of it is nothing but an empty building. The spirit don't come into a building when people play music. The Ruach comes into the building when holy Ruach-filled individuals enter into the building. Hallelujah. Why? Because we are the temples. We are the buildings. We are the inhabitants. We are the stores of. We are the manifestors of the Ruach Kakadesh, which gives glory, gives illumination, gives power, gives anointing, hallelujah, which destroys yokes. Hallelujah. The glory of Yahweh. See, when Yahweh created man, 
He said, let us make man, Genesis 1 and 26, and the book of Bear Sharith. The book Bear Sharith is the book of Genesis. He said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion. So, so, so his intent from the beginning when he created us was not to be Hebrews, not to be titles, but his intent when he created us was that we be Elohims, that we rule over everything on the earth. The earth was supposed to be ours. Praise Yahweh. Because we are the little Elohims, the Yashos. So mankind only received, mankind only received the image of Yahweh. Now keep in mind, the image is the character. Even in that, we lost his characterization, but we're supposed to have his character. Praise Yah. So henceforth he came and he gave us the Ruach HaKadosh. Why? Because we're supposed to have his character. Be angry, yet sin not. We get jealous because he's jealous. Huh? We think because he thinks. We speak because he speaks. We are, are the exemplifications of his image. But what we're missing is the likeness. And this is where we're going to conclude this study tonight. We're missing the likeness. The likeness. Hallelujah. When you look at Genesis 1 and 27, he said, in the image of Yahweh, he made he male, both male and female, he made he them. So he, he didn't take one and one to make one. He took half and half and made one. That half and half in Hebrew is called asasil, which is half and half. Huh? Half and half. That's why the Adam was so lonely because he was only a half of himself. And he needed, his, uh, he needed his other half. So Yahweh gave him Chua to fulfill the oneness that he wanted him to have. Hallelujah. This is why if you, if you, if you married or you go through a divorce or, or your spouse dies, you, you, you feel an emptiness. Why? Because half of you is gone. Teach tonight, holy Yah. Holy Yah. Teach tonight, holy Yah. Watch this. So, so now, mankind received the image of Yahweh. But he did not receive the likeness. Now, Yahweh said, the glory of the former house, the latter house. We read it in Hagar 2 and 9. The glory of the latter house shall be greater in the latter house. The latter house. So, temples was built throughout history. Temples was torn down. Temples will be built. And guess what? Temples will be born, torn down. But guess what? Because we understand that Yahweh is not dwelling in temples made with hands, but eternal in the heavens. We understand that we are those temples. We are the manifestations. So now the glory that was in the former house, guess where it has to come to? Inside of us. Why? Because now that glory or that illumination or that brightness is pushing us towards his likeness. <laughs> Teach the Holy Spirit. Let us make man in our image after our likeness. So that when we deal with the glory of Yah, the glory of Yah is a transfer, is a transfer of the spirit where the transfer is now transferring unto us so that we can now move into the likeness or the original intent that he intended for us to have. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Watch this, y'all, watch this, watch this. Go, go read John 17 and 5 so you can understand what, and then we're going to go to Romans 8. John 17 and 5 and Romans 8. I was trying to see if I had some tissue. Praise y'all. Hallelujah. That's his own name. John 17 and 5. 
the book of Yachanan, 17 and 5. I'm almost done. I promise y'all, I'm almost done. I got a couple more scriptures and I'm out your way. John 17 and 5. Show y'all something. See, because we, we talk about glory and Shekinah glory and all that, and we deal with it because when the service get high and the preaching get high and the singing get high and the emotionalism gets high, we call that the Shekinah glory. No, no. We call that the glory. No, 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 no. Look, look, look what he said here. Look what he said in Romans, I mean, John 17 and 5. This is Yahweh Shah speaking unto the Father before he departs from this earth. Look what he said. And now, O Father, glorify me now with thou, with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Well, what glory did he have? Let us make man in our image. So he said now, glorify thou me with thine own self. Listen to this. With the glory which I had with thee before the world was. So as we conclude, the glory now leaves the Shekinah perspective and now the glory becomes the eternal reward. <laughs> the, it becomes the eternal reward. It leaves the presence. It leaves, remember it started off in praise, honor, adoration. You know, giving glory and honor unto, right? From now the presence of Yahweh. And that extreme presence is the Shekinah glory presence, the dwelling presence that's now dwelling on the inside of us. Watch this. So from that perspective now, it's now transforming us. The word trans means movement. It's now moving us again from the from the it moved us from the Hebraic to the Yahweh. And now the Yahweh is taking us into Elohim. Shit. And so this is what Yahweh Shah was saying when he said, Listen, and now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory that I had with thee before the world was. So now the glory not only is the presence of Yahweh, but the glory now becomes the likeness of Yahweh. It becomes the, uh, 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 the immortality of Yahweh. It becomes the transformation into Elohimship of Yahweh. Let me read it one more time. One more time. And now, O oh Father, and now, O oh Father, and now, O oh Father, hallelujah, now, O oh Father, now, O oh Father, glorify me with thine own self, with the glory that I had when I was with thee before the world was. The glory, the glory, the glory now is that immortality. It is that likeness. It is that likeness, hallelujah, that Yah has for you and I. That likeness that Yah has ready for you and I. That likeness. Hallelujah. How do you know that? 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 Remember, he said that the glory. Watch this, y'all. Stay with me. Stay with me. The glory. I lost some people again. The glory of. The glory of. The former house. Watch this, y'all. The glory of. The former house. Will be greater in. The latter house. So in the former house, the glory was the presence of Yah. It was the extreme pre presence of Yah. It was the illumination. It was the cloud of Yah. Watch this. So now, as we've crossed over, into Hebrewism, from Hebrewism into Elohimship, into Yahweh-ness, watch this. The glory now becomes the actual and the literalization of, watch this, y'all. The actual and the literalization of, watch this, y'all. The actual and the literalization of the direct presence of Yah 
that transforms us into Elohim ship. Hallelujah. Y'all excuse me just one second. <laughs> Hallelujah. So now we find ourselves. That's a little bit better. Thank you. I was, I was struggling. Hallelujah. Now we find ourselves where the glory was once adoration and praise. Now it's transferred into the presence of Yah, the illumination of Yah, the indwelling of Yah, the cloud of Yah hovering. So now it's no longer dealing with the physical temple, but now it's transformed because why? We've left the physical of the Hebraic thought and we've now crossed over and we're now spiritual Hebrews in the Hebraic thought. So now, watch this guy. Now, the Ruach now, as we've elevated over and upward, the Ruach now elevates over and upward as well. So the Ruach or the glory or the presence of Yah of the latter house becomes greater in the former house. It becomes greater in the latter house. Why? Why? Why does that happen? Well, Yahweh Shah gave us first illustration of that. And, and Yachadan 17 and 5. He said, glorify me now with thine own self. With the glory that I had when I was with thee. Before the world was. In other words, I still need that Shekinah glory that was in the former house. But I need a more robust portion of it. I need to be transformed by your resurrection power. Hallelujah. So now the glory, which is the presence, becomes a transforming resurrection power. Hallelujah. Glorify me now with thine own self. With the glory that I had when I was with thee before the world was. What glory is that? He had the likeness. He had the likeness. We wanted the likeness. He said, man, he said his, his purpose, the word purpose is the original intent and the mind of the creator of a thing or the answer to the question why. His purpose for us was that we be made in his image and after his likeness. So now the glory of the of the former house is now greater in the latter house. And we're not talking about now, the former house was buildings made with nails, hands, glues, um, hammers, etc. And Acts 17, 24 says that he's, Yah's not dwelling in those type of houses made with hands anymore. Why? Because now his residency, teach the night holy rock, his, his Shekinah now is transferred. There's a transfer in the spirit. He's transferred now to a new residence, a new dwelling place. A new inhabitation. And that's within us. Through the Holy Rock Hakadash. <laughs> but guess what? It didn't and it doesn't stop right there. It doesn't stop right there. Why? Go with me down to Romans the 8th chapter. I'm going to show you why. Because the glory, again, it still has greater works to do. Watch this, y'all. And I'm almost finished. I promise y'all I'm almost finished. I promise y'all I'm almost finished. Romans the 8th chapter. Romans the 8th chapter. Romans the 8th chapter. Romans the 8th chapter. Please, please stay with me. Stay with me. And I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Look what he said here. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to what he said. Listen to what he said. Romans 8. And let's look at uh, 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 verse number 9. Verse number 9. Uh, he's not dwelling in the temples made with hands. Know ye not that your body, that you are the temple of Yahweh, and the Ruach HaKadosh dwell in you. Watch the shout. It didn't, it didn't dwell in us to make us shout, dance, sing better, not even to make us praise. Watch this. It says, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the Ruach. So the Ruach HaKadosh came. And we're going to deal with the Ruach HaKadosh tomorrow. The Ruach HaKadosh came. You, but you're not in the flesh, but in the Ruach. If so be that the Ruach of Elohim dwell in you. Remember, the word Shekinah 
not shak, shekinah, but the word shekinah means that which dwells within. It's, it's shaking. So you are not in the flesh, but in the Ruach. If so be that the Ruach, the spirit of Elohim, the Ruach of Elohim, dwell in you. The Shekinah dwells in you. Now, if any man have not the Ruach of Messiah, he is not of him. Watch this. And if Messiah be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Ruach is life because of righteousness. Watch this, y'all. But if the Ruach of him that raised, listen to this, listen to this. It was the glory, which is the presence of Yah, that dwelled inside of his temple. Whose temple? Yahweh Shah Hamashik's temple. But if the Ruach of him that raised up Yahweh Shah from the dead dwell in you. Watch this, y'all. I want y'all to get this. Please get this, get this. The glory of the latter house shall be greater, hallelujah, than the glory of the former house, even though that glory was great. But this glory is different. Watch this. But if the rock of him, hallelujah, that raised up Yahweh Shah from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up Yahweh Shah from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies by his rock that dwell in you. So, 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 so that glory that was in the house, that was so powerful, that was so cloud, guess what? It's now a transfer. And now that temple that was made with hands, guess what? The Ruach is not dwelling in that temple no more, but now it's dwelling in the bodies, the temple. Your body is the temple of the Ruach HaKadosh. Your body is the temple of the living Elohim. Your body is the temple. So now that glory that was in the house made with hands has transferred inside of you and I. And he said the glory of this latter house will be greater than the glory of the former house. Are y'all with me tonight? Hallelujah. But if the rock of him that raised up Yahweh shot from the dead dwell in you, he that raised up, hallelujah, Messiah from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies. Now, the word is so powerful about the word quicken. The word quickens means to be made alive. Huh? The dead and the Messiah shall rise up first. Hallelujah. And then we which are alive shall be caught up and meet him in the air. Why? Because the glory that's in this latter house. Teach tonight, Holy Rock. Hockey, that glory that's on the inside of us. That glory that's in the latter house. Hallelujah. Is now dwelling inside of us. It quickened your house shall. It raised him about the grave. Guess what he said? That same Rock Hockadesh shall also quicken, make alive your mortal bodies by the Ruach, the glory. This dwelling inside of your temple. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors not to the flesh, to live after the flesh. But if you live after the flesh, you do, you shall die. But if you through the rock do mortify the deeds of the body, you shall live. So now, what happens? Your temple can't handle. Fornication. Your temple can't handle or shouldn't handle lying, stealing, bear false witnesses, etc. Why? Because that glory, ah, yeah, shy, glory, hallelujah. That glory, that glory of the former house is now greater inside of us. And this is what Yahweh Shah said when he said, greater work shall we do. Why? Because we are the temples of Yah. People go, if we're walking upright, walk, praying upright, living right, people should be able to come to us and be healed. Why? People should come to us and be delivered. Hallelujah. Why? Because sin has no residence within us or without us on the outside of us. Listen to this. Listen to this. Verse 14. For as many as are led by the rock of Elohim, they are the sons of Elohim, the sons of Yah, or the Ben Yah. 
Uh, first, Yachanan, I'm not, I don't, you don't have to turn it, I'm just going to quote it. Three says, Beloved, now are we the sons of Yah. And it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he yet shall appear, we shall be like him and see him as he is. In other words, Elohim, we will be translated into Elohims and the Elohim family. Watch this, y'all. For ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the ruach of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The ruach itself bear witness with our ruach that we are the children of Elohim. And if children, listen to this, then heirs, Heirs of Elohim, listen to this, and joint heirs with the Hamashiach. So remember, the glory of the latter house is going to be greater. The glory of the former house is going to be greater inside of the latter house. And it ain't talking about no church. It's not talking about no building. It's talking about you. Greater works will he perform inside of you. Why? Because we're not just heirs of Yahweh, but the scripture says we are joint heirs with the Hamashiach. This is why he said in Revelation 3 and 21, to him that overcome, will I grant you to sit with me in my throne, even as I'm overcame and I'm now sat down in the throne with my father. Hallelujah. Because we're joint heirs. Watch this. If so be that we suffer with him, listen to this, that we may be also glorified together. No, we're going to receive glory. What glory? That same glory that Yahweh Shai asked for in Yachanan 17 and 5, John 17 and 5, where he said, glorify me now with thine own self with the glory that I had with thee before the world was. So the glory has transferred now from the worship and the presence of Yahweh. Watch this. And it is now inside of us. So now Yahweh can decree and declare over us, I have said, you are Elohim. Psalms 82 and 6. I have said, you are Elohim. You are children of the Most High Sovereign Yah. Not only are we now joint heirs with Hamashiach, but we have been, if we suffer with him, we're going to be glorified together. Why? Verse 18 says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, Romans 8 and 18, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared, listen to this, with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So now the glory comes transfers from the adoration, honor, and praise which leads us into worship, which leads us into the presence of Yahweh. to now the glory becomes the likeness that Yah intended for his creation to have. In the very beginning. Let me read that 18. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. What glory? The same glory that Yahshua, Yachanan, Yahweh Shah asked for in John 17 and 5. Glorify me now with thy, glory, with thy own self, with the glory that I had when I was with thee. Before. So now that glory is powerful. The glory of the latter house is more powerful because now the glory of the latter has now transferred and transformed us into Elohim shepherd. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory 
which shall be revealed in us. Are y'all hearing this tonight? Ain't this much greater and higher than talking about some Hebrew stuff? Huh? For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Mm -mm -mm. In us. What glory? The same glory that Yahshua, Yah Yahweh Shai asked for in John 17 and 5. Glorify me now with, with thine own self with the glory that I had when I was with thee before the world was. So now the, the, the temple of the former was okay, but the, what Yah is doing in this latter temple it's much and much greater. It ain't about no buildings. It ain't about no organizations. But it's about you. You are the temple of the Most High Yah. Look what he said on. For the earnest expectation of the creature, uh, Romans 8 and 19. For the earnest expectation of the creature, wait for the manifestations of the sons of Yah. So creation as a whole is waiting, is waiting, is waiting, is waiting. I'll keep you in my prayers. Don't worry about that. Don't sweat that. That's little things. We all overcome it. That's why the scriptures say, he that endure to the end shall be saved. This is not a sprint race. This is a marathon race. It's a lifetime race. For the earnest expectation of the creature wait for the manifestation of the sons of Yah. They wait for the new birth. They wait for us to be transformed into Elohim, into Elohimship. For the creature was made subject unto vanity, but by the reason of him that is subjected the same in hope, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of Elohim. For we know that the whole creation groan and travail in pain together until now. And not only they, but we also ourselves which have the first fruits of the Ruach, even we ourselves groan within ourselves waiting for the adoption to take wit in the redemption of our body. So now, the glory that we're looking for is the translation of the Cordishian, the translation of the believer, is the transformation from, from, from transformation from humanity into divinity, from mortality into immortality. That's the glory now. This feeling our tabernacle. That's the glory that's inside of us now. So it's transforming us from this human perspective into Elohimship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yah, tonight. Thank you tonight. Thank you tonight for your word. Thank you for the move of the Ruach HaKadosh. Thank you for everything that you spoke tonight, oh, Yah. Hallelujah. We bless your holy name. Father, we thank you for just allowing us to speak, oh, Yah, giving us the strength to speak, giving us the strength to carry on. In the name of Yahweh Shah HaMashik. Father, continually move tonight, not by might nor by power, but by the Ruach HaKadosh. Move upon your people everywhere. Remember our brothers and sisters across the land in every city, state, municipality, and county. Have your way in their lives, oh y'all. Bless each and every household that's on these lines, whether it's YouTube or whether it's a Facebook Live. Father, bless them tonight. And we will be so careful tonight to give your name praise. Thank you, Todaya, for the visitation of your spirit. Todaya, thank you this morning, this evening, for the visitation of the Ruach HaKadosh. How you move tonight, not by might nor by power, but by the Ruach HaKadosh. Continually we ask, have your way. Continually we ask, be with us. Continually we ask, strengthen us. Continually we ask, give us more more understanding. Continually we ask oh, y'all to help us overcome, oh y'all. Blot out our transgressions and renew and remember our iniquities no more. Father, create in us all a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us, oh y'all, that we may be holy and righteous in your sight and that we may be yours in that day when you make up your jewels. These things we do pray and we do ask in and for your name's sake. To y'all be the glory. To y'all be the glory. To y'all be the glory. And we say tonight, Hallelujah. Please let the words of our mouths, meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Yah, our strength and our redeemer. And we say, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Thank you, Yah. Todah, Yah. Ah, Yah is truly in the midst of us one more time. Praise Yah. To Yah be the glory for all things that are said. To Yah be the glory for all things that are done. To Yah be the glory. I don't know about you, but I feel the illumination of the rock of his spirit. I feel his presence even right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we were singing that this one. Holy Spirit, we submit to your authority. Everything wrong in me, take it out right now. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Because we adore you and we love you. Hallelujah. You are welcome in this place. Oh, yeah. Mm, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you tonight. Thank you tonight, yeah. Whew, the Ruach HaKadosh moved today, not by might nor by power, but by the Ruach HaKadosh. Hallelujah. 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 The glory, remember the glory of this latter house shall be greater than the glory of the former house. Why? Because there's a transfer in spirit. Yah has transferred that glory, hallelujah, from the former into the latter which is transforming us into eternal life. Elohimship. Know ye not that the believers of Yahweh will judge the earth. Hallelujah. I pray y'all be with you all. Y'all continue strength. Thank y'all for everybody that's on the line tonight. Hallelujah. Thank y'all for everyone that just came in and, and, and was with us. Hallelujah. Thank y'all those that came on loud. If you missed anything, praise y'all. Thank y'all for the recordings. You could always go back and see the recordings, whether it's on uh, Facebook Live or YouTube. You can always see the recordings. So we 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 bless y'all for you. We bless y'all for you tonight. We bless y'all for the move of the Ruach HaKadosh. Hallelujah. Thank y'all. We say happy Sabbath. We thank y'all for everything that he's doing. Hallelujah. We bless him tonight. He's worthy of all the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy tonight. He's worthy tonight. Hallelujah. He's worthy tonight. He's worthy tonight. Hallelujah. He's worthy tonight. He's worthy tonight. We submit to y'all authority hallelujah he's worthy tonight y'all i'm sorry I, I i there's a cloud that i feel in the midst of us right now yes hallelujah ah glory hallelujah hallelujah come in this place everything wrong in me hallelujah take it out right now Burn it out right now. Holy Spirit, you are one. Because we adore you. And we love you. Hallelujah. Glory to his name tonight. This is the Sabbath, y'all. You are welcome in this place. Oh. Have your way. Oh, glory, glory, glory tonight. Hallelujah. Y'all is moving tonight. Thank y'all for how he moved on the prayer line this morning. Hallelujah. He moved in a special, powerful Shekinah glory way. Blessing him tonight. Let me get rid of... Um, let me not get rid of... But let me, um, let me sign off our, uh, our YouTube family. Praise y'all. YouTube, thank you again for um, being patient with us tonight. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes we have to leave the naturalizations of things and move as the Ruach HaKadosh is moving. So we thank y'all for your patience with us tonight. Thank y'all for the word that he allowed us to give. Um, tonight is the Shabbat. If you desire to give your spiritual seed, please do so at dollar sign kingdom 
511, dollar sign, Kingdom 511. May y'all continually bless you all, YouTube. Come back tomorrow. We will be in study on tomorrow afternoon at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yahweh bless you. Yahweh be with you. We love you so much. Shalom. Peace to you.